everybody and welcome to Includes Podcast presented by Proxima Ledge Solutions. Before we go into our episode today, there is something that I really need to share with you guys because if you don't know, you need to know. So if you have not heard about Anchor, guys, it is the easiest way to make a podcast. And I said it is the easiest way because number one, it is free. Yes, it is free. There are also creation tools that are going to allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer. It does not get any easier than that. But wait, there is more. Anchor is also going to distribute your podcast for you so that it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. You can even make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It is everything really that you need to make a podcast and it is all in one place. So do me a favor, go in, download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. everyone and welcome to another episode of Includes Podcast. I am your host Marlene Marino and once again I am so excited to be here with you today. I hope that you all had a great Christmas and New Year. So welcome to 2021. Happy New Year's guys. I know the second week of the month it's like I was still saying welcome to 2021. Well I am. So once again Happy New Year's. Guys, I'm so thankful for all of you and your support during the year, um, you know, that I started the podcast last year in 2020. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, The first episode of Includes Podcast air actually on my birthday last year, February 6th of 2020. And it has been such an amazing journey. And I owe it to you. Once again, guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your support. I mean, I've had a total of 13 episodes for 2020. And my audience from all different continents of the world, I mean, countries, US, France, the UK, India, the Philippines, Puerto Rico, Colombia, Russia, and there were others. There's there's a lot more. I didn't mention all of them, but I wanted to just pick out a few. So I am truly blessed. And once again, I want to thank each and every one of you. Thank you for your partnership. Thank you for your questions. Thank you for your support. Thank you for reaching out. And some of you maybe that did not reach out, if you have questions, all you need, I'm a call, a text, or an email away. So what is new for 2021, you might ask? I am so glad you asked that question. So this year, 2021, Includes Podcast received what I like to call a facelift. And we now have a brand new and fresh cover. So you probably saw the cover and you're probably thinking, oh my God, who is this? Well, it's still us. It still includes podcast. You can also find us now in numerous social media platforms along with pages for Proxima Ledge. So make sure to find us in Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. And uh, we have been on LinkedIn now for a minute. But guys, I'm getting around all the social media and they're up and we are live. Now, I have another Huge surprise for you, for my Latinos, brothers and sisters, my hermanas y hermanos, we have a brand new version of Includes Podcast in Español. Yes, we now have a Spanish version of Includes Podcast. It is called Todo Incluido. The trailer, it's already out, so make sure to go in, look for Todo Incluido. Be sure to listen and stay tuned for more episodes and once again this is a partnership i expect you to be getting calls from you guys questions that way i can help you in bettering you know better in you but in your career anything that i can do to help and to serve you that is truly really the reason why i'm here for so with one of the things that you usually see every year you know new year new you 
you know, you usually see that phrase. So I, I really took a, a hard look at what this actually means to me and also to other people around me. You know, it is still us. So is it really a brand new us? It kind of is because we are continuing to develop our, ourselves into a better version of what we were yesterday or that we were last year. So to me, this goes above, just above and beyond the new year resolution and it's more about making that path for our lives. You know, what are the things that we want to accomplish to better ourselves personally as well as professionally? So just like every week, and I think I talked about this on either maybe the first or the second episode that we had last year, but I like to make a list at the beginning of the week where I put down everything I need to accomplish for the week, okay? I do the same thing every year. So for last year, for 2020, two of my career goals were to obtain two super hard certifications, guys, the CPMA and the CPCO from the AAPC. I mean, if you know me, if you've listened to my previous episode, I am super, super passionate about com um, compliance and auditing. And I've also been working in these two you know, for the past several years. So I loved it. And with a lot of hard work, effort, and of course, studying, I can say today that I have earned these two certifications. I got my results for the CPCO like right after Christmas. I mean, I spent Christmas going, oh my God, can they just grade my test? And they did. So on a side note here, be on the lookout for more information about these um, two certification in my future episodes. So you're probably wondering like, okay, where is she going with this? Where are we going with this information? So once again, I am so glad that you asked. So let's, let's take a step back to the future. I know if you guys like that series of movies, but I do. Um, 2020 was not an easy year for everybody. You know, um, with the pandemic and just so many different issues and so many different uncertainties that we've had, I can honestly tell you uh, for me. So let's, I'm going to talk to you guys about me. Um, aside from COVID, it was a very hard year for me and my family as we experienced several losses of family members. And... I had to take some time, I had to take some time for myself to kind of compose myself and gather my thoughts. You know, looking back, I think about something my pastor said um, during the service. He said, what you focus on grows. What you focus on, that's what grows. If we focus on the positivity, positivity will grow. If you focus on the negative, the negative will grow. So we have to choose how do we react to everything that happens with us and or around us? So I took some time. I took some time to gather myself. I took some time to grieve. I took some time for me. And I got up and I asked myself, how can I continue to make them proud? So staying focused on the podcast was one of the things that I used as a... Um, how do we call it as something to something new, something different, something that I had to continue to learn something every day about. So it kind of gave me uh, an, an escape. I guess you can you can you can put it for a lack of a better terminology. But I'm here to tell you today that no matter what situation you're facing, you're loved and you matter. So it is OK to take time for yourself. It is okay, especially when some days it seems like you just can't keep going. Like, oh my God, I'm going to go crazy. I'm so overwhelmed. Take a step back. It's okay. Take a step back. Then get back up and keep on fighting. Keep on pushing forward. Do not give up. There is still fighting you. I know it because I've experienced it myself. So where am I going with this? Every day... It's a new beginning, not just with the new year. Every single day is a new beginning. If you made new, re new year resolutions, like a lot of people's, you know, a lot of us do that. And sometimes what happens? 
January 2nd goes in and we are, oh, we'll do it tomorrow. And maybe today you haven't even started, but that's okay. You can start today. You can start right now. It is never too late. Okay. If you did not make your new year resolutions, let me tell you something that is quite all right. That's, that's fine. But what I want you to do is I want you to take some time to visualize yourself and ask yourself, what is something that I've been wanting to do and I have not been able to? What is something that I wanted to do? It can be either personally or professionally and grab a piece of paper. You know, if you're like me, I'm old school. I like paper, but that's okay. I know, you know, technology, we can do it on our phones. We can do it on our computers. We can do it in our iPads. Um, or even on our watches now, but the point is write these things down, write at least three of them. Then underneath each one, write about three to five actions that you would need to take in order to obtain it or to accomplish that goal. Then what you want to do is you want to take this information and you want to put it somewhere where you can see it. I mean, every day, every day, all the time where you can see it, set dates on those three to five actions. I'm the kind of person that if I don't put a date on something, it is not gonna get done. That's why I like my lists. So set dates to accomplish them. It could be daily, a daily task. It could be something that you do weekly just to get you closer to those goals. So even if we get to December, 2021, and you're like, man, I did not make it to that goal. I'm going to tell you, if you did one, two, three, four, five of those actions, you're one step closer than what you were a year ago. So you are closer just because you took the steps forward. Every day, guys, keep striving to be a better version of yourself. Better than what you were yesterday. That is my goal that I've set out for myself. I want to be better than I was yesterday. I want to continue to enriching others' lives. I want to continue to serve to all of you. And that's why it's such a blessing when I have the opportunity to pull out my mic, put on my headphones, and record an episode for you. I mean, with the cars passing by, I know you probably heard a couple of them. And I'll try to get some of them out, but that always does not work. But I always try to, to, to be better than who I was or what I was yesterday. So in that, I want it to be the goal that I want for all of you to have. What can I do today to be a better version of myself from what I was yesterday or from what I was in 2020? So I know, guys, this was not an episode on industry updates, but sometimes we just need to be reminded that we are enough and that we are loved. You know, I'm here at home with my mic recording this episode, but I'm a human being, just like all of you. I'm a human being, I go through emotions, I have family, um, there's craziness in my life, I have dogs, I mean, e everything, just like each and every one of you. But we just sometimes need to be reminded, listen, you're enough, you're loved. You can do anything, anything you set your mind to do. If you want it, through hard work and dedication, everything if, is possible. Really, everything is possible through hard work and dedication. And if at any point you feel like giving up, keep pushing forward. There's still fight left in you. How many of you have gone to the gym and you did, I don't know, 10 setups and you needed to do 12 and you're like, I cannot do the last two. But guess what? You do the last two and you actually even make it to number 15 but you were about to give up when you got to 10. There is still fight left in you. There is greatness within you. And in the words of Les Brown, I'm going to link this, um, this video that I really like on YouTube. He says, the greater the struggle, the sweeter the victory. Work hard and dedication, Everything is possible. So let's have a great, amazing, and super 2021. I look forward to continuing our partnership, guys. And as always, I'm here for questions, support, mentoring, or sometimes we just need somebody to listen. Sometimes it's not, we don't need somebody to tell us something. We just need somebody to listen. 
and guide us. So all you have to do is reach out. And if you need more motivation and more information on how to create what we call SMART goals, please take some time to make sure to review the links in the episode description. And once again, let's make it an amazing 2021. And I will catch you in our next episode. Bye, guys. Thank you.